WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 37, NASDAQ down 144, S&P's down 11 and a half. Gold, gold contract up $17.30, trading at 1821 an ounce. We had silver up 32 cents, 24 dollars, 24 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 12 cents, 79 dollars, 68 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, the 10 year note down 22 ticks, trading 112, 12, 30 year off full point, plus 26 ticks at 125, 11 and king dollar. King dollar down 127 ticks, trading 104, 187. Euro is at 106. Yen is at 133.54, and the British pound is at 120 to 1 U.S. dollar. Let's get over and take a look at, uh, first, we're going to go into the bonds, because the bonds are making the run once again for lower price, higher yield. Right now, the 10-year, folks, is at 3.78. Bottom line, you're into the, into the strength. The strength bar, the top of the strength bar is 112.27. It's into it. This thing's going down to 110.24. That's going to put our 10-year over 4% once again, and we'll see how the rest of this shakes out. We go to the SPY, the Qs, they're all in ABC structures on the way down. The differential is that the SPY, you know, is a complex one. It got above the B point, which is 377.85. You went sideways, you have light volume, you're down a buck and a half. Inside the Qs, different ballgame. Inside the Qs, what you have here, it's confirmed ABC structure down to 244. You're at 263. The B point on this is 266.95, and you're going to be making your way down there. This is going to blow away, and I'll tell you something. If, in fact, we do blow away the October lows inside the NDX 100, you are going to see the next leg down happen because uh, this has been here long enough that, you know, people are not as worried, okay, because it's a year later that they've lost the money, uh, but this was strictly, you know, it did a 50% bounce of the last move, meaning the last leg down, but if we take a look at this on the full move, okay, what you're going to see here is that you did a 0.236. That's about as weak as you can get, you know. So the bottom line is that there's still a lot of selling pressure out there. You know, inside the NDX 100 uh, today, uh, the movers that were shaking it down were Tesla, Moderna, Lucent, and Rivian. Uh, big numbers. And, of course, Tesla is on the monster ABC structure down. Uh, that baby is uh, pretty tough. Have a great one. Have a safe one, folks. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Great show, folks.